Hi guys, so today I'm here to do the Forever Glam palette. I know I've mentioned this palette before. I had done this video um, prior to this on my other channel and as you know that video is no longer alive. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use this palette to its fullest potential and I use all of the eyeshadows in this palette, this highlighter, this blush, and this lippy. Now this could be used as a highlighter shade or a double blush color, totally up to you. I just wasn't feeling this shade of on my on my lip today. Not that it's not a nice shade, it is, but I am actually wearing this shade right here. So we will get started on this look. And if you're curious about what other products I used on my face today, I'm gonna go ahead and show those share those products with you right now. So I prepped my face for this look with the um, Age Rewind in the shade Creamy Ivory, which is 120, and hopefully that's focusing in. Um, my concealer is the Age Rewind Treatment Concealer, and this is in the shade up there for you guys hopefully that is focusing I don't know guys I don't know what shade it is but that's what I use then to prep my eyes I used Mac painterly to set my foundation I use the physicians formula text 10 coverall my lip liner is Milani, and this is the shade, what is this, 08 Fuchsia, okay. Then my eyeliner today, which is a very cheap eyeliner, guys, this is the Elf waterproof eyeliner it has a very very fine tip you guys have seen me show this before I really do like it for a cheap eyeliner it's really nice so then on my eyebrow I use today the Rummel Rimmel however you want to say it um, cold pencil and this is in the shade taupe this is waterproof then for my um, waterline. I use the Rummel Cold Pencil in the shade doo -doo -doo -doo, Brown. Then after I set all of my foundation powder and everything, I went ahead and I used the e.l.f. Contour Palette. This has a highlighter, bronzer, and contour in it, and I did highlight bronze and contour prior to um, using the BH Cosmetics palette. So welcome back. Hello makeup junkies. <laughs> okay so today we're going to be doing, this is also another requested video, a remake of one from my previous channel which is no longer around. So we're redoing this video. So today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Forever Glam palette and we're going to be using um, I'm going to be doing my full face with this palette just like I did with the Forever Nude palette. This palette also comes with a full size mirror in the bottom which I will not blind you with. But as you can see there's a large array of colors in here and yes they are bright colors. But we're going to get started with this palette and I'm going to show you guys how to create a look using the colors in this palette. So if you have a full size palette like this, if you want to, follow along and we'll get started. Okay, well, we're going to start on the eye look first, and so what I'm going to be what I'm going to be doing is starting with um, these two colors on my movable lid. So I'm going to be picking up this lightest shade first and putting that in the um, 
inner corner of my eye. And for that, I'm gonna be using a, um, a smaller little shadow brush. So I'm gonna be picking that color up and putting that on the inside corner of my eye. And in case you're wondering, I am loading up both sides of the brushes for this. I'm just gonna be applying that right in the inner corner. up a large shader brush and I'm going to be picking up this peach color and I'm going to be putting that on the outer port or the rest of my movable lid and I am loading up both sides of this brush with this color And I'm more or less placing this in the center of the lid, having it meet that lighter color, and then moving it out to that outer edge. Now I want to leave that outer edge open because I'm going to be applying color there also. Now I want to create a um, a, a crease color. So for my crease color, I'm going to be using a um, kind of a short little fluffy blending brush. I'll be picking up this taupe color along with this lighter color. So I'm going to be picking up the lighter color first on my, you know, this, and then picking up some of that taupe color. And I'm going to be applying that and just kind of pushing that in. Okay. Don't try blending yet. We want to set the color in there. And I'm putting that in, and I'm sure you can see, I'm putting that right into my faux crease line. And those of you who follow me know that I'm a hoodie and this will be for hoodies like myself. So now I'm going to be doing the same thing to the other eye. So I'll just not have you watch and, and I'll get the other eye caught up. Okay, so once you've got both eyes matching and you have that color on in there, you can go ahead and start doing some blending with your little blending brush. want to go ahead and bring that color up to the outer edge of your brow there because this is you know this is fairly a light shade so this is just going to be our transition color okay from there I'm going to be picking up some of this gold color right here it's kind of a you know shimmery metallic goldy color so we're going to be applying that into our crease line and let me get a brush for that. Okay, so to apply this color, I'm going to be using, this is just an e.l.f. angled, you know, shadow brush. So I'm gonna be picking up this gold color in the palette and I'm just gonna be putting it on the edge of this brush. I'm not gonna be loading up the sides, just the edge, okay? And I'm gonna be creating more definition in my crease line. So I'm gonna be starting to make, you guys have seen me do this technique before. And now we're going to match up the other side. Like that. Picking up a little bit more color. And now I'm going to start to make my seven in there to create more definition on that crease line and I want I want to take this color 
on down into that outer third. Guys, remember that outer third I left open? I wanna go ahead and take this color on down to the lid. And we're gonna go into the socket line with this color, all right? like that and we're going to give it a little blend. Okay, so if you're following along, you saw that with that sharp angled brush, which is I think really supposed to be used for your brows, but this works excellent for making defining lines. So if you were following along, you saw that I took that brush and I went down along here to the center of my eye, and then I brought it out here to my outer V and blended it up into that um, kind of a goldy brownish color that's in the palette. So. So I brought in this color into this color right along that edge, okay? Now we're gonna be dipping into the darkest color in this palette, this really, really deep navy blue. And we're gonna be using a really fine little pencil brush. We're just gonna be loading up that very, very edge of the brush into that color, okay? Just swirl it around in there and pick up that, that blue tap off any excess and we're going to be going right into the socket line. This is just to be creating a little bit more deep definition into that socket line. So right there and you can see where your socket line hits your eye and draw it down just a little bit but not much because this is a really really deep shade and then draw it just a little bit upwards into your socket line, but not much. Just like that. And now the other eye to match. All right, now for a brow bone highlight color, I'm gonna be taking and mixing, I've got my fluffy brush here. I'm gonna be mixing this lightest shade into the highlighter here. Just tapping a little bit into the peachy and, well, it's kind of a, I don't know, tan, not really peach. And then this, and I'm going to be applying that right onto the brow bone area. blend into the 
other color. Just like that there. So now we have the eyes done, let's move on to the rest of the face. So now picking up an angled blush brush, and yes, it looks like there's color on this brush because I need to wash it, but honestly, there's no color left on the brush. I've beaten all the color that I can out. So I'm going to be taking and picking up this brightest color in the palette here for my cheeks. And when you go to apply this, you're going to, you know, kind of be, try to be light handed with this shade because it is pretty bright. So I'm just going to be dabbing it on at first, just so that I don't get like way, way, way color. And I always like to give a little bit of blush to my forehead, my nose, and my chin. And this is a shade that you want to be fairly light-handed with, ladies. You can see a little of this goes a long way. So now blend it out. There you have it. Now we will get into some of this highlighter and highlight our cheekbone. And I will be doing that with a very, very little fan brush and just taking this and dipping it you know, in there and kind of right in the cross. And just hitting the very, very top of my cheekbone. Whoops. And now with a buffing brush, I'm going to be taking a fairly large buffer. And I'm just going to go ahead and buff that in on both sides. Marry the colors together. And we'll do our lips next. I need to get my lip salve off and then we'll apply some lip color. Okay, I lined my lips first with the with a lip liner pencil and I can't read what shade that is, but that's the shade I used to line my lips with. So now I'm picking up a lip liner brush. This is just a little elf lip liner brush, and I'm gonna be dabbing into this shade right here, which I think looks really fun. So yesterday I used, or not yesterday, the day before when I made, did the forever nude palette, I used my finger, but today I'm deciding to use a brush for a little bit more precise application. So there's the lipstick and now I will apply my eyeliner and mascara and I will come and give you the full face look. 
so here's the finished look guys I'll move in closer so you can hopefully see better get my mirror out of the way So that's using the Forever Glam palette and trying to utilize pretty much everything in this palette. Now this could be used as a highlighter if you would like. Um, I myself of course didn't do that. If you want to double blush with it, you can double blush with it. Um, but the only thing that I haven't used in here is this shade and this shade and it just depends on your mood as to what you want to do. So. I hope this was helpful guys. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment bar down below. Um, thanks for asking me to do these videos. I'm more than happy to share with you some of my tips and some of my secrets. Um, that's what I'm here for. So God bless you all. Stay safe, stay happy, and stay healthy. Love you guys. Bye-bye.